Howdy folks, Sandra Lee here, aka Nocturnal Butterfly, coming at you from Ontario again, this time with a video on how to properly pick your rhubarb. Stay planted. That's a beautiful fall day here in Ontario, and it's almost the end of our harvesting, so I still have a bunch of rhubarb I have to get into the freezer. I figured what better time to show you how to properly pick it so that it'll preserve it for next year. You won't ruin your little clump of rhubarb and it'll keep growing and growing and growing and coming back for you. So what you want to do is you want to reach right in here and just get right into the bottom. Kind of do a little twisty and then pull. Just like that. And that's what you want to see right there at the end like that. You don't want to see any broken piece or you don't want to be pulling out the whole clump either. And now you can see right down in here, if you look closer, there's some little babies. You don't want to pull those out, you want to leave them. Those will be good, maybe in a, another couple weeks or so, but I'm still going to get a lot out of here. I planted this by seed myself a few years ago. This is uh, my Victoria rhubarb. And as you can see, it's doing really well. I have a few clumps of it all over the yard and I get a really, really good harvest out of it every year. So it's definitely one that you want to try growing. I also have Canadian Red, which I didn't grow from seed myself. I bought that from a nursery. And I have Glaskin's Perpetual Rhubarb, which I did grow from seed. I'll show you that in a future video. Well, I hope you learned something from this video. If you did, please hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already and smack that bell so you'll get my notifications. And as always, please stay safe out there, take good care of yourself, and much love.